Welcome to Faith and Freedom. For the next few minutes, we hope to inform, inspire, and encourage you as we discuss legal victories and challenges to your fundamental freedom and religious liberties. Faith and Freedom comes to you from Liberty Council, a civil liberties education and legal defense organization. Join us now as Matt Staver, founder and chairman of Liberty Council, explains the latest legal issues all across this country. In the courtrooms of America, Liberty Council is winning the battle for your constitutional freedom. A Texas judge now rules in favor of the cheerleaders that they have a right to be able to engage in religious expression in this Texas case. And also, as graduation is approaching, we want to talk about the rights of students to engage in religious expression, particularly during graduation. Hi, I'm Matt Staver, founder and chairman of Liberty Council. Joining me is Matt Barber, vice president of Liberty Council Action, to talk about this case and other important issues regarding religious rights of students in public schools. Now, this is a good news. We hear so much about bad news, but this is good news where this judge has now ruled in favor of these cheerleaders. They had Bible verses on their signs, and they ultimately were prohibited from having those. They filed suit, and these cheerleaders won, and the judge has now ruled ultimately in their uh, in their uh, behalf. Yeah, our friends over at the Freedom From Religion Foundation, a uh, a group of, of anti-Christian busybodies that, uh, you know, you'd like to be able to just laugh at them and write them off because it is pretty comical much of what they do. But unfortunately, in today's political climate, they have some support for their for their att- attempts to uh, of religious cleansing uh, throughout uh, the United States of America in any kind of public context. They have again attacked these cheerleaders, uh, guaranteed First Amendment right of, of freedom of religious expression here, and that's what we're talking about here. These students' expression, this isn't some kind of an endorsement of religion by the school. In fact, the school would be prohibited from allowing these students to engage in First Amendment expression. So, That's right. You know, uh, Now, the uh, Freedom from Religion Foundation did not like the fact that these cheerleaders had their own private expression of religion on these posters. They could have anything else. Just don't say anything about God. Mm -hmm. And so they were complaining about that. The cheerleaders ultimately, when they were pushed back and told no by the school, they ultimately filed suit and they've won this case. But the school board attorney uh, actually speaking regarding the school says, now the judge granted the the, uh, school, uh, uh, granted the injunction regarding this, but did not say that they are required, actually, to allow this expression. Hmm. So, you know, the school pushed back, and then the cheerleaders pushed back. Anyway, the controversy got going, ended up in court. I think no matter uh, what the school board is is saying, the school board attorney is saying, that at the end of the day, it's a good decision. Uh, These cheerleaders stood their ground. They were not going to go home and just simply kowtow to the Freedom from Religion Foundation. And and it gives us a good opportunity, uh, uh, you know, at this time of year, as we've been talking about, we've had, you know, graduations around the country, uh, still some uh, occurring around the country. This is a good chance for us to talk about the rights of students yeah. at graduation within the context of their school. They they don't leave their First Amendment uh, religious freedoms at the schoolhouse steps when they walk into that school. Well, and the Texas case is a good way to go into that because the students have a right to free speech. Right. And therefore, that's not government speech. It's their speech. The school didn't put that on there or tell them to put the words on there. That was the students. And everyone knows that. Unfortunately, in another case in Arkansas, at the Riverside School District in uh, Lake City, Arkansas, the Freedom from Religion Foundation (laughs) popped up again. And a lot of times they're more smoke and mirrors. In this particular situation, they actually prevailed. They said to a school for sixth grade graduation, you can't have any of the students, they can't pray, they can't say anything religious. So what did the school do? They didn't reach out to get advice or support from Liberty Council. We were not aware of this until after it's over. They canceled the graduation. They didn't just simply say, we're not going to have any prayer. They canceled the entire graduation because they are afraid of a lawsuit from the Freedom from Religion Foundation. That's an absurd, yeah. knee-jerk reaction, and it's not necessary. And and that's why I call this religious cleansing, because that's what they're attempting to do. They've, uh, I've, I've often said that the f- groups like the Freedom from Religion Foundation, and, and groups that even have some credibility, the Freedom from Religion Foundation doesn't, but, but when people uh, capitulate and surrender and, and put up the white flag and give them credibility like this and cancel their graduation, uh, they are giving 
having the Freedom From Religion Foundation victories that they needn't needn't have. But, I, but I've often said this is their, their MO. They want the church, uh, they want a Berlin Wall put around the church with razor wire, separating and marginalizing and pushing to the fringes within the, the enclaves of their own church walls. That's where they want religious freedom. And, and eventually, I, I believe honestly that they'd like to, to rub that out as well. But for now at least, they don't want any kind of religious freedom within the context of any public forum. Well, especially this organization is very anti-Christian. But what are the rights of students at graduation? In fact, you can go to Liberty Council's website, lc.org. We have an entire uh, program called the Friend or Foe Graduation Prayer Campaign. Friend or Foe Graduation Prayer. And we'll be the friend of school boards if they do the right thing. We'll give them free legal advice. We'll give them free defense if they do the right thing. And they don't force students to pray. In other words, they don't say, you got to pray. But they also don't say, you can't pray. They allow the students to do what he or she wants. If they want to pray or have a religious message, they ought to remain neutral in that and not stop it. And we'll give them that uh, counsel. We'll give them that defense. On the other hand, if they insist on censoring prayer because of its fact that it's religious or religious speech or viewpoints, then if education doesn't work, we'll become the foe. We'll file suit on behalf of these students, kind of like what you had happen in this case in Texas with the cheerleaders taking a proactive position. So you can go to lc.org for memos and other information for I Will Pray wristband. And let us know if there's an issue in your community. Call us at 800-671-1776. That's 800-671-1776. Or go to our website, lc.org, and send us an email. Let us know so we can get involved and make a difference. Well, Matt, li at Liberty Council, we know the Constitution. Uh, we understand the meaning of the Constitution and the intent of our, of our founding fathers. When they framed the Constitution, groups like the Freedom From Religious Fo of Religion Foundation, the ACLU, and other anti-Christian organizations uh, want to bend and twist the Constitution to mean something that it does not. The First Amendment is very clear. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. It's neutral. They're saying that the government remains neutral on matters of, of Christian faith and expression, and, and but what they want is for the government to step in, and as the ACLU's own materials uh, say, to treat religion and religious expression, expression differently when it, when in, in the context of, of government interaction because the Constitution requires it. That's nonsense. It requires neutrality on the, these issues, and that's what you're, you've just pointed out. They want viewpoint discrimination. That's right. They do. They want to cut out any kind of viewpoint that's religious in nature. But when you do that, you actually violate, not protect the Constitution. And so we actually have had uh, cases, the Adler versus Duval County case, where we defended a school board. We actually intervened on behalf of the students and defended the school board with a policy that says that students could have two minutes at the beginning or the conclusion of their graduation. It's up to them. The student class uh, can vote on that, and they can select a speaker, and the speaker can say any message, religious or otherwise. And they, some of them, you know, use that time for secular message, some for religious message, some might include a prayer. Uh, and the ACLU said, oh, that's wrong if they happen to say anything religious. Well, we defended. It went to the Court of Appeals four times, twice before a panel of 12 judges, twice before the United States Supreme Court, and we won that case. Yeah. And it's a nationally uh, significant precedential case. Uh, we want to make sure that when students are there because they're valedictorian, salutatorian, class president, they're elected by their fellow classmates, they have a right to be able to thank their friends and their family. They also have a right to be able to thank God as well. Yeah, yeah folks, I, I can't overemphasize, please contact Liberty Council if you hear of instances like this where radical uh, atheist and anti-Christian organizations are trying to oppress uh, your children's First Amendment rights or in any other context, give us a call at Liberty Council. It, it, it's time we've got to stand up for our freedoms because our freedoms are under assault. Well, just a few days ago, I hooded Megan Chapman, and seven years ago, her journey began ultimately coming to Liberty University and graduating from Liberty University School of Law, and it was over the issue of prayer at graduation. That's how we ultimately got involved. We defended her, we represented her, and now she graduated, and she is not going to be a silent participant. She's going to be an adversary of groups like the ACLU, standing up for religious freedom and the sanctity of human life. She made the right decision, and God honored that, and there's many other Megan Chapmans around the country. So get us involved. Let us know what's going on in your community. Liberty Council's engaged in educating, and we're producing, partnering uh, with JC Films, 
to make a movie called Uncommon that would ultimately speak about the rights of students in public schools. We'll give you more information when that movie ultimately is released. The movie is Uncommon. Go to Liberty Council's website, lc.org. Ask for the book by David Barton, Original Intent. We have that and other resources there, but it shows the original intent of the Constitution and our founding documents, and also our Patriots Handbook on Religious Freedom in Public Schools. Those books and more are at the website lc.org. You have been listening to Faith and Freedom with Liberty Council. We hope that we have motivated you to stand up for your faith, family, and freedom. We can accomplish a lot when we work together. Get informed and get involved today. Sign up for our free monthly newsletter, The Liberator. We will send it out to you free of charge. Stay informed with our Liberty Alert email updates. Just click on the website at www.lc.org or call us at 1-800-671-1776. Tune in next time to learn more about your rights right here on Faith and Freedom.